All right, guys, God bless you. Welcome to This Is It, 4321. Let's go. Keep going, guys. You know it's close. I'll, I'll tell you what, some very, very interesting things have happened in the last couple of days, and I, I wasn't really paying attention all the way, but the Lord got my attention in the most bizarre way. Um, I did a video for you guys yesterday, and it was a response video to someone that had come to the channel, and they had made a comment, and in the comment, they said, y'all need to watch out for Jonathan Kleck because a lot of what he teaches is not truthful at all. And then she wrote, God bless you, Jonathan, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. And I was just reading the comment going, you just came to the channel that I'm a steward of. You told all the people that are watching the video, watch out, Jonathan's a false prophet. Then you say, God bless you, Jonathan, from Jesus of Nazareth. And so I was like, what kind of a person does that? I was just, so I went to her channel, uh, praying, the name of the channel is Praying Iguano Bingo Mama. And so I went to the channel and I looked at it. She's got a giant iguana on the sofa facing one way, Praying Iguana. And then a cat that looks like a tiger, a Bengal tiger facing the opposite directions. And I was like, well, there you go. I go, praying lizard, Bengal female. And I'm like, there you go. Okay. And then I looked on her channel and she's got one of those playlists. It's a Jonathan Cleck, false prophet. And so I came back before I had gone to look at her channel when I read her comment. And she said, a lot of what he teaches is not true at all. And then, God bless you, Jonathan, in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. I was just like, so what I wrote was, I said, okay, name one scripture, just one, that you would like to tell everybody that I've taught incorrectly. Just name one, and I'll, I'll address it. Crickets. I didn't hear anything. So I was going through comments. I came back an hour later, nothing. So then I went to her, her channel and then I got to see what was going on. So then I wrote a couple more comments and there was no response. And then I, I saw one of her own personal videos and it almost looked like that face, that female face from AI. And then I was wondering, is this an AI thing going on? This is so strange. Anyway, so what I did was I did a video yesterday and um, I was going to post it and I just kind of waited today just to see, you know, what was going on. And I, I, I have the whole video and if y'all want to watch it, I want to show you something that happened during the video. So as I was going through this, just like, what is your deal? Why would you come to my channel and do this? Why would you say, bless you in the name of Jesus of Nazareth when praying iguana bangle mama with Jonathan Cleck hate videos on your channel that there's a word for that. It's called hypocritical. <laughs> and I was just like, okay. So anyway, so while I was doing the video though, about halfway through the video, I'm going to give you the link right now. I'm going to show you where to go watch the video that I did. It's, it's un it's unlisted. So I'm going to give you the way to go watch it right now. Here, watch this. Here's where you go watch it. Ready? So you're going to go to my channel. So let's start with, you go to Jonathan Kleck channel. You go to my video. So you go to Jonathan Kleck, click on videos. And then see the last video I did that's called Gather the Princes, where I'm giving you this testimony. Click on that. Click on that video. Pause it. And then go right out right here where it says, this explains everything that has happened and looks like it's about to happen. Then click right here. And the link's not there. Hang on one sec. I just learned something very interesting that even my channel would not even let me post that video for you. I tried to post it right here in my right here in my description. There it is. I posted it. I hit the save button right here. And then when I go to that video that I'm telling you to go to, gather the princes that have been turned, redoubled, and pull up 10 stakes. Okay, right here. It should be right here. It should be right here. It's not there. Oh, you know what? There it is. It's not. It shows it like that. I'm sorry. So if you click on that 
if you click on that little image right there. Sorry, guys, watch this. Click on this right here. See the video link right here, the YouTube? If you click on it, it's called This Video Sparked an Understanding. Okay, I also posted the link right here. It says pinned by Jonathan Kleck. So all you have to do is go to my last video to watch the video that I'm posting. The reason I'm not just putting this out there for everybody is if you're a subscriber of this channel and you know what I've had to deal with, do you know how many false prophet uh, video lunatics I've had to deal with? Because I speak the truth. And you know what the enemy hates is the truth. So they'll come up with all this nonsense to try and stop people from getting to the truth. Here's here's how easy the truth is. Ready? There it is. That's understanding the entire system, the world, everything. Just got to invert it. You'll see everything. That's how simple it all was. The night I got saved, read the tags and the closure came. 100% nylon. That was the first tag. Didn't make any sense. The creator of all things told me to read the tags, and the clothes I was carrying. I read the first tag, 100% nylon, didn't make any sense. He said, turn it upside down. After I read 100%, turn the word nylon upside down, N-O-L-Y-N, no lion. And that began my foundation of understanding Christ. That was the foundation. That is Matthew 16, upon this rock I will build my church. That's what it is. So anyway, there are so many of these people that have done this that I have had enough of it. And I'm like, you know what? If you're going to come to my channel that I'm a steward of, the Lord God made me a steward of his word, of his word. And you're going to come and you're going to lead people astray because you watch some lunatic saying I'm a false prophet. Well, guess what? You're being drug over the cliff into the pit by this lunatic that you watched. I come with proof in the Word of God. Now, here's the thing. During the production of that video, I started going through uh, the scriptures. So if you click on that video, make sure you watch it all the way through. Because as I was doing it, here's what the Lord showed me. I was like, oh, my goodness. And wheresoever he shall go in, think of the Lord coming into you or into the, and think of your host body as the house. Well, the house has a good man and a bad man. The good man's attached to heaven. The bad man's attached to the pit. Now, watch how fascinating this. And wheresoever he shall go in to enter in, to arise. Think of like the Lord arising in you. He shall go in. Say ye to the good man of the house. The master saith, where is the guest chamber? Now think about the Lord coming into you. It means the breaking up of a journey, a lodging place, guest chamber. I want you to look at the root of the word. Kata lu. To loosen down, to disintegrate. Well, what happens when you, as a spiritual being, get a host body? What happens to you? You disintegrate. You start aging, wearing and you're being destroyed by the energy from the pit. It starts destroying you. And if you don't get out of that system, it destroys you fully. So see, we're in an intermediate stage of destruction unless you turn back and you get converted, then you can return. Now look at this, look how crazy perfect this is. So he's gonna go have the uh, Passover. So the master said, where is the guest chamber where I shall eat the Passover? with my disciples, those my pupils, and he will show you, it means to show literally or figuratively, a large upper room, and large upper room above the ground. Now think about this, the large upper room. So that's where Jesus is gonna eat with his disciples. You get it? He'll meet you in the upper room. So they're together in the upper room during the Passover. And he said, and furnished and prepared. Look at this. Furnished to strew. That is to spread, to make bed, to spread, to strew. That's the same word for the stars that have been strewn, like within the system. And he will show you a large upper room, furnished and prepared 
readiness prepared on hand to make ready to make ready to prepare prepare and provide for us do you ever consider that the whole thing itself was also another way to communicate the Lord's passage through time with his people that he takes out their passed over, meet in the large upper room to prepare for the rest of the journey. It's it's a journey through time, guys. I told you. This whole thing is time travel. And uh as mind boggling as it is, it's it's pretty easy to see once you've seen it. That's what the Olympics was. That's what the whole golden traveler was at the Olympics. But it showed Lucifer calling the worms up out of the ground. It showed him pulling up all the stars out because that's what the pit has consumed, taking over the next level. They're coming up, taking over the level. Then it'll be destroyed. There'll be another level. Other stars will come in. It'll happen again. It's always happening. And when I saw that scripture, I was like, that's crazy. So anyway, if you want to watch the video I just showed you and you want to see just kind of the the way the enemy tries to inject doubt and disbelief in the truth. The truth is this simple. It's that simple. You turn the world upside down and you see the truth. Acts 17.6, these that have turned the world upside down have come hither also, and they are disturbing our city because the locals, the inhabitants, they don't want you there showing the truth. Why do you think I get so much conflict against me? I mean, what? The Vatican's a snake? Can anybody argue with the fact that the Lord let me show you the Vatican is a snake? Can anyone argue with the fact that he let me show you the mouth of the snake is a big dead sheep, which is a bunch of angels being eaten by a snake? It doesn't get any more simple than that. The serpent is eating angels. Well, who are the angels? Well, we are. Oh, Jonathan Clark said we're a fallen angel. Jesus said you're a fallen angel. And if you watch the video I just did in response to those comments, you'll get to see that it's laid out for you very simply. Jesus himself said, have I not said you are Elohim, which is angels, but you're going to die like men. So your angels your Elohim, God's angels or magistrates, that's what Elohim means. Jesus said, have I not said ye are Elohim, God's angels and magistrates, but, and you're all children of Elion, the most high, but you're going to die like men now. So you're going to get a host body and you shall fall. And the word fall is the fall. It means to cast down. You shall be cast down like one of the princes. Okay, those are Jesus' words, not Jonathan Clegg's words. Those are the words of the Word of God, not my words. I simply repeated what Jesus said. And then everyone's all offended? Hmm. They were pretty offended at Jesus too, weren't they? You know why? They hate the truth. You know why? The truth is what condemns them. It's that simple. And they don't want to come to the light. So they're under condemnation. So they're going to hate the truth. There it is. It's the most obvious thing in the world now. Okay. I, I'm going to wrap this video up. I want you guys, if you guys want to see this, just go to my last video. Go to gather the princes that have been turned, redoubled, pull up instant stakes for departure, and then click right here. There it is. This video sparked an understanding, or you can click right there, either one. Okay. There you go. All right, guys, peace and grace. I hope you enjoy the vid. Now, remember, okay, I'm going to apologize now because I know some people get really, oh, I can't believe you said shit. Paul said shit, okay? So it's in the scriptures. Uh, I also told you there's some scriptures I read that if I if I read them and I, and I translated them for you, your jaw would hit the ground. You wouldn't believe they're salacious. I was like, oh, my gosh, this isn't the word it is. And I'm not going to tell them to you because... You can go find them yourself. Anyway, um, so forgive me if I said, you know, that shit. I'm sorry if I did, if that offends you. Or uh, any anything else. I, I had Zach edit out. I said, uh, 
that word a couple times and I had Zach just, Zach, would you just edit that out for me? So if you see a SpongeBob edit, that was Zach doing that for me. And uh, there may be a little bit of a lag when I was replaying the video. Just give it a minute. Like if you hear the audio get off, just give it like 30 seconds because I fix it. Just FYI. I love you guys. It's getting good, guys. You know it's the end, right? It's the end. All right, guys.